as a as a singer. Yeah. If somebody said to me, and you know, I, I don't mind who I admit it to, if somebody said you can never act again or never sing, sing again, there would be no competition. Singing is oh, in so my great. bloodstream, it's my catatharsis, it's yeah. in my soul, and I miss it terribly. But this show but you seems sing to on... like getting me to do both. I know, I was going to say, you sing As on a Ted football Lasso. club owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I had the karaoke thing and then the Christmas thing. Yeah, you've, you've sung on this show. Yeah. Yeah. Sing, 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 sung. Yeah. Mm, sorry, Mom. Um, sung. Yeah, sung, <laughs> mm, sure. Uh, and we all sing here. That's actually amazing. I mean, kind of. All... I'm not singing on any West End stages. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not I'm not, Clarks, I'm not but... singing on West End either. Yeah, Nobody's like Kelly Clark. So wait, is it true that Ted Lasso is one of your dad's favorite things? that you've ever done? Oh, my dad is very hard to please. He's very, very English. He's 81. He's just had quintuple bypass surgery on oh, his no. heart. And he is just very unique and lets me know <laughs> when I'm in something that he's not feeling oh, or that the people around... This, he has watched three times. He's obsessed with the writing. So and good. Rightly, yeah, I mean, and that, for me, is the litmus test. Yeah. He's just... Yeah. It wasn't the fact that everyone loves it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, it, like, yeah. it is the one person we're always trying to impress them yeah. that matters. So you really are a football player, right? Yeah, well, I yeah. mean, I used to play professionally uh, since I was a kid. Wow. Uh, yeah, my, my grandma... Uh, uh, when I started to walk, my t grandma taught me how to play in the garage of my house. <laughs> yeah. oh my I was always God. carrying a ball with me. <laughs> I love and that. Yeah, yeah. It, football was part of me, and yeah, since I kid, then playing professionally when I was 15. And then wow. later in life, um, I stopped when I decided to study, and uh, my parents told me to study and intelligently because I had some injuries, but then, yeah, football has been part of my life. Um, so how did you land the role on Ted Lasso, other than being perfect for it? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I. I um, well, I started my master in acting in the UK. I saved money over there and before going to the UK. And then I was in Mexico and I received the audition for Ted Lasso. I did it, didn't hear anything. They started shooting in August, so I thought, well, nothing happened. But then I received a random tweet from Bill Lawrence, a showrunner of the show, who said, just, good audition, man. <laughs> really? And I was like, Okay, either he's playing with my feelings or there's something go <laughs> something good happening. Oh my god, that'd be so mean. Yeah, and then, so mean. Yeah, and then I um, <laughs> I did more auditions and story short, I got the role for an Icelandic man. So when I arrived on set, I was go called Gunnar and I was like, if I'm playing an Icelandic man, I need Wait, more preparation. What? <laughs> you so originally it wasn't even the role you're in right now? No, no, no. The, the role was for a guy from Iceland, but they liked my audition from what I know now. That they they kept it and that's why they adapted it to who I am and and. Oh my I God! I love that you were so great. That's amazing. <laughs> but are, are you getting recognized everywhere? Um. Well, yeah. Here in LA, I've, this is where I realized that a bit of the craziness around the show, which I'm grateful and stuff. Um. Yeah. Lots of fans. I, I have I have a funny anecdote that recently. Well, I was in a commercial center. I went to the toilet. And um, yeah, uh, and then I, I was I was about to wee, and then I just feel I just feel someone staring at me, and I'm and I'm like, and then this this guy very happy, and he just says, "Are you the smiley guy from Ted Lasso?" <laughs> Not even my character, and I'm like, um, "Yeah," and, and he just goes like, "Can I have a picture?" <laughs> can you Can you give me a yeah. minute? Not right and, now. And I was like, um, okay, <laughs> "You're okay, shaking." Okay. <laughs> And then we got the selfie, and he oh. just, yes, thank you, man. And he leaves, and I was like, what the hell just happened? Yeah, <laughs> the show is nominated for a lot of Emmys, and you were also nominated yeah. for an Imagen, right? Yeah. Imagen Award, yeah. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, uh, I'm very happy for the nominations for the show in the Emmys, but, yeah, we got this Imagen Award. Yeah. Uh, which awards uh, Latin talent, and I'm just very yeah. grateful, and uh, especially with the people I'm nominated with, and... And I share the news with my family, and, and my family was more excited with the fact that I was nominated with Mario Lopez. <laughs> because I, I grew up, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love, I love I that. Love I love him, and, and we love him, and, and I grew up watching Saved by the Bell. Me too. 
So my parents were like, I want oh to be in Zach Attack. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I want to yeah. be in Zach Attack very much so. Yeah. He was always cool. He made the Speedo look very, look very nice. Yeah. I freaking love Ted Lasso. Ah. I'm a nerd. <laughs> like, I know everyone says this. I'm not original. But it's just such a great show. It's so innovative and different from all the other shows. And it's just a great, it's a good time. And I think especially for everybody that's just been felt trapped or maybe having a year. I don't know if you can say year on here, but I just did. It anyway, I mean, it depends um, on the year. If the year was enough, if it you was, can say you year. can label it. Um, but um, no, and it was just such a, it's just such a great show. Like so, I don't know one person that doesn't like this show. How does that feel to be part of such an amazing show that everyone loves? It? <laughs> like, um, that's got to feel cool. Uh, thank you. Um, I mean, it, it's surprising and, and awesome. Like, we... Is it surprising y'all didn't know, you didn't think? No, I mean, we thought, you know, it was probably going to be pretty good. There sure were a lot of talented people involved. But, you know, we've all been fans of shows that then got canceled for yeah. reasons we don't understand. And uh, yeah. so we never could have anticipated, you know, that I'd get to come here, first of all. Yeah! Uh, yeah. I, I would have never anticipated, but I was very excited. Um, well, who inspired your character, Coach Beard? Did you have an inspiration? Um, several. Um, <laughs> you lucky man. You had several <laughs> people inspired. <laughs> I, I used to work as a stagehand at my, uh, at my student union at, at Illinois State University in yeah. beautiful Normal, Illinois, the Bone Student Center, a.k.a. The Boner. And, um, <laughs> and the guys I worked with there, um, you know, who my bosses were just all these, like, wonderfully laconic, very Midwestern, but way smarter than they let on, Guys were just very dry, very droll, and they would just drop in a nugget when it had had to be said. Um, like I remember one guy, he lost his radio, and just sitting there, just all squat in the back, he lost his radio. Someone had stolen it or whatever, and he goes, "Oh no, my nomenclature!" I'm like <laughs> nomenclature? <laughs> we're in Normal, Illinois. Who's saying nomenclature? Dropping that knowledge. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> those guys. I love, I love that. Um, well, you guys shoot in London. I love London, especially Christmas time. Um, what's the biggest cultural difference for you? Um, well, one physical manifestation that people make fun of, but but it's true, is every time I cross the street, I might die. Just it, that, that <laughs> never goes away. I've now spent a year of the last two years of my life in London, and every day. It, several times a day, I could die the most awkward, embarrassing <laughs> death that I'll be known for forever, and I never, ever get used to that. I have to, at every intersection, be like, <gasps> do, 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 do they just do. not pay attention? Um, well, they're just coming from the wrong way. Oh! <laughs> well, it's the right way where they're at. <laughs> but we know. Yeah. <laughs> But is it? <laughs> um, so you became friends with your co-star, Jason Sudeikis, right? Like, was it, it was, did y'all like hit it off in Amsterdam? Is this what I heard? Uh, even before Amsterdam. It's a Amsterdam, place to become friends with people, I think. Isn't it? <laughs> um, we, uh, we knew each other in the Chicago improv scene, basically. Oh, right on. And then I moved to Amsterdam to do comedy out there, and then he eventually followed. Um, and that's when we became like, like real solid friends. And, uh, and that's where I started telling him like, hey man, soccer doesn't suck, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's our job. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the best job ever.